G'day, I'm Ash, welcome back to the channel. And first and foremost, there is news on the table. Predominantly coming out of the new A6E Tram Intruder pre-order, but more importantly, the Deblock also announced that in the next coming update, our aircraft trees will climb to rank 8 and will also be introducing rank 7 premium aircraft to boost the research of new top tiers. Tejek goes in to talk about the rest of the A6 and the Deblog announcing that. There was a mass speculation considering that this particular development is quite a large scale involvement. Considering the fact that this thing is 70 US dollars, there are plenty of other things I can think of spending 70 US dollars on. Certainly, one of them isn't a digital aircraft that gets me only one half of a tech tree. You could buy a full bloody game for that. So, I better be making some quality changes to aviation in order to make this worth it. Oh wait, we're talking about garage and entertainment here. So, in theory, what we could be seeing is up to about five or six top tier premiums that will allow people to boost to the newest level of vehicle whatever that may end up by being. I have a feeling there might be a Tornado, there might be a, a MiG-29, there could be a huge amount of other varied aircraft types, but let's not leave that to speculation. The devlogs are rolling out now. After all, we've just had our 10th year anniversary sales, and in reality speaking, you know, you basically you've devalued all of everyone else's premium aircraft and, and vehicles. Smin has gone to confirm that there will not be a Tech Tree A6, at least in this initial patch, and he's also gone on to say some other things, like for example, over here, none of the current Rank 6 premiums will move. That is where they were always intended to be. These are new premiums, which indicates that 70 US dollars is going to spiral out of control and cost you a lot more money. Speaking of which, it's probably given how Garjan has absolutely destroyed rank 6 and 7 recently with over-tiered and overpowered premiums, highly skeptical that rank 8 will be much better considering everyone will buy into the hype and obviously buy a bunch of vehicles. So, if you want to do that and you want to buy a $70 aircraft and obviously considering that there is devlogs coming up as well, then use my link in the description down below for 3% off. Alternatively, you could go play DCS for 70 US dollars, so I mean, it, the choice is really yours. With that aside, what aircraft could we be seeing? Maybe an F-15, an F-111, may, maybe a MiG-29 and SU-27S, but more likely we'd get the A and S versions of Western and Eastern Bloc aircraft, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting time to see what develops out of this, considering that, well, rank 7 as is, is a little bit complicated with how decompressed uh, and uh, over-compressed some of the premiums are, so, look, it's a matter of public opinion here, and I'm going to stay on the side of caution, but for what it is, the intruder isn't going to be that impactful, that's, just, that's on the fact that it's got really good, decent, uh, guided weaponry. So, you put that aside, reality is that it's probably going to be a lot different from what we uh, expect. Obviously, that begs the question, we've already got the F-14 in-game, and there's already a, some element of beyond visual range missiles, but essentially all the aircraft that are basically designed around long-range missiles, some of which can use anti-radiation missiles. So I wonder if they're going to introduce larger maps before some of these planes, for example, uh, come to, towards the game. And obviously the $70 price tag is something to be laughed at, I suppose. Rather more concerning than the fact that they are increasing price of the premiums. Maybe they should really take a look at how the vehicles play and, and how, how the gameplay actually works. Even though the aircraft is really good, the price tag is quite high for a single vehicle. I feel like there's going to be a lot of contention within the community and a lot of debate around that. But alas, you've been updated, so that's what is happening, and I thought I'd throw in my opinion there as well, because there isn't really much else to talk about besides from the introduction of the A6E. Obviously, that's exciting on its own, but the advent of Rank 8 Aviation and the fact that there's going to be more premiums and that they're going to be $70 plus is really uh, the topic for a bit of concern, considering what is going to basically top the end of each tree. So are they going to finish out the minor tech trees? Probably not. So, you know, it, it's, it's more of a concern for how are they going to implement this across the board in a fair and balanced way, which we all know is not going to happen, because you've got to have a power crept tech tree or a vehicle in order to increase uh, vehicle sales. So, uh, st stay tuned in this space if you want to see dev blogs or, or more, more uh, stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, what do you think of the $70 premiums? It's going to be interesting one hell of a way, one way or another. All right, stay tuned for the news. My name is Ish, and I'll catch you next one. Bye-bye.